Now in this question we are asked to expand the fraction 1 all over the square root of 4 minus 3x up to the term in x squared using the binomial expansion. So what is the binomial expansion? Well it's basically this, that if you have got 1 plus anything, let's call it a say, to the power n, then this is identical to 1 plus n a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2 times a cubed all over 3 factorial and so on. So going to uh, modify this first of all then so that we aim to get it into this format. Well 4 minus 3x is to square rooted that is, is 4 minus 3x to the power half and then if I bring it up to the top then this becomes 4 minus 3x to the power minus a half. Now the first thing we've got here is this problem with the 4. It's not a 1. So how do we cope with that? Well let's forget about the power just for the moment and concentrate on the bracket. All you've got to do is just pull the 4 out the front of the bracket. In fact, whatever you have here, just put it out the front of the bracket. So we have 4 bracket. Now, 4 times 1 gives the 4. And then you have 4 times minus 3 quarters would give you the 3 now. And then you have the x on the end. Now, that's the bracket, and it's all to the power minus a half. So what we'll do is say that all of this is to the power minus a half. Now we need to deal with the 4, okay? It is 4 to the power minus a half. When you've got a product here, all to a power, then it's the same as each of the factors here in this square bracket being put to the power minus a half. So we have 4 to the minus a half multiplied by 1 minus 3 quarters x also to the power minus a half. Okay, so 4 to the minus a half, well that's 1 over 4 to the half and that would mean 1 over the square root of 4 which is 1 over 2, a half then. Now, we've now got this bracket and the power in this format here. So we can expand this using the binomial expansion. The a is really minus now 3 quarters x and the power n is minus a half. So just put a square bracket up here and according to the formula above here it's going to be 1 plus the power n which is now minus a half so put that there times a and a is minus 3 quarters x so that's the x term done now we just need to go and do the next term the x squared term and that will be the as far as we need to go so when we're dealing with that it's going to be the power n which is minus a half Subtract 1 from the power, so that's minus 1.5 or minus 3 over 2. It's all over 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2 times 1 or just simply 2. And then times a squared, but our a is minus 3 quarters x, so that's minus 3 quarters x all squared. Don't forget to put plus and so on on the end and then we close the bracket. So all that needs to be done now is just to clean each of these terms up. So we have 1 obviously for the first term. Minus a half times minus 3 quarters is plus 3 eighths so that's plus 3 eighths and then we have the x. And then if you do this sum, okay, and multiply it by minus 3 quarters all squared. Remember, minus 3 quarters all squared is going to be 9 sixteenths. But if you do all of that calculation, you should find you get 27 over 128 
x squared and plus and so on. Just multiply now through by the half and we have half times 1 is half half times the 3 eighths x becomes 3 sixteenths x and finally for the last term half times 27 over 128 becomes 27 over 256 256 x squared and so on. Okay so we've been able to expand the fraction here using the binomial expansion up to the term in x squared. That brings us to the end of this part of the question.